Welcome to this spoken tutorial on binary phase envelope in DWSIM. In this tutorial, we will learn to generate TXY plot at given pressure, XY plot for the obtained TXY data, PXY plot at given temperature. To record this tutorial, I am using DWSIM 5.2 Classic UI and Windows 10. The process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical in other OS also, such as Linux, Mac OS X, or Fossey OS on ARM. To practice this tutorial, you should know to add components to a flow sheet, select thermodynamic packages, add material streams, and specify their properties. The prerequisite tutorials are mentioned on our website. You can access these tutorials and all the associated files from this site. In this tutorial, using DWSIM, we will generate TXY plot at a constant pressure of 1.013 bar, XY plot for the obtained TXY data, TXY plot at a constant temperature of 75 degree centigrade. Here we give compounds, inlet stream conditions, and property package. I have already opened DWSIM on my machine. Go to File menu and select New Steady State Simulation. Simulation Configuration Wizard window appears. At the bottom, click on the Next button. Now, in the Compound Search tab, type Ethanol. Select Ethanol from ChemSip database. Similarly, add one Propanol. At the bottom, click on the Next button. The Property Packages opens. From available property packages list, double click on Suave Redlish Wong. Then click on the next button. We are moved to a new window named Flash Algorithm. From default Flash Algorithm, select Nested Loops VLE. At the bottom, click on the next button. Next option is System of Units. Under System of Units, select C5. At the bottom, click on the Finish button. Let us maximize the simulation window for better visibility. Let's insert a material stream for which we have to generate the TXY, XY and PXY plots. On the right hand side of the main simulation window, go to Flowsheet Objects. In the Filter List tab, type Material Stream. From the Displayed List, drag and drop a Material Stream to the Flow Sheet. Click on the Material Stream MSTR000 to view its properties. Let's change the name of this stream to Feed. Now, we'll specify the Feed Stream properties. Go to Input Data. Select Flash Spec as Temperature and Pressure, if not already selected. By default, Temperature and Pressure are already selected as Flash Spec. Change Temperature to 30 degree centigrade and press Enter. Change Pressure to 3.5 bar and press Enter. Change Molar Flow to 120 kilo mol per hour and press enter. Now, let us specify the feed stream compositions. Under Composition, choose the basis as Mole Fractions, if not already selected. By default, Mole Fractions will be selected as basis. For Ethanol, enter the amount as 0 0.5 and press enter. Similarly, for 1 propanol, enter it as 0 0.5 and press enter. On the right side, click on this green tick to accept changes. Now, we will see 
how property package calculates phase equilibrium data of compounds. To do this, go to Utilities. Click on Add Utility. In the Add Utility window, under Object Type, select Material Streams. Under Utility Type, select Binary Phase Envelope. Under Flow Sheet Object, select Feed. At the bottom, click on the Add Utility button. Binary Phase Envelope window opens. Let us adjust the Phase Envelope window for better visibility. Enter name as txy-plot. Go to Diagram Settings. Select Ethanol as Compound 1 if not already selected. By default, Ethanol is selected as Compound 1. Make sure that the other compound is selected as Compound 2. In this case, it is 1-propanol, which is Compound 2. Select Envelope Type as TXY if not already selected. By default, TXY is selected as Envelope Type. Select TXY Diagram Options as VLE if not already selected. By default, VLE is selected as TXY Diagram Options. Select X-axis basis as Mole Fraction if not already selected. By default, Mole Fraction is selected as X-axis basis. Enter Pressure as 1.013 bar. Here we are going to plot a TXY diagram. So, let's not worry about that pressure value. Make sure that the property package is selected as Suave Redlish Quang. Now, click on the Calculate button at the bottom. The diagram generated is a TXY diagram or constant pressure phase diagram. X-axis indicates the mole fraction of ethanol. Y-axis indicates the temperature range for which the VLE is generated. The lower line of the envelope represents bubble point curve. Hover the mouse to the lower line at ethanol mole fraction of 0.5. We can see the bubble point temperature to be 86.2853 degrees centigrade. For any mixture composition, below this line is subcooled liquid. The upper line of the envelope represents dew point curve. Over the mouse to the upper line at ethanol mole fraction of 0.5. We can see the dew point temperature to be 89.5881 degrees centigrade. For any mixture composition above this line, the mixture is superheated vapor. The area enclosed between these two lines is the VLE region. Here, both the vapor and liquid phases exist in equilibrium. We can see the bubble points and dew points at every composition. For this, go to Result section and click on Table. Here we can see the corresponding mole fractions and temperature values. Let us now generate the XY plot for data obtained in the above TXY diagram. Close this window. Go to Utilities and click on Add Utility. In the Add Utility window, under Object Type, select Material Streams. Under Utility Type, select Binary Phase Envelope. Under Flow Sheet Object, select Feed. At the bottom, click on the Add Utility button. Once again, Binary Phase Envelope window opens. Let us adjust the window for better visibility. Enter name as xy-plot. Go to Diagram Settings. Let the compound settings be the default settings. Select Envelope Type as TXY. Select X-axis basis as Mole Fraction if not already selected. By default, mole fraction is selected as X-axis basis. Enter pressure as 1.013 bar. 
Now, click on the Calculate button at the bottom. The diagram is generated is called XY diagram. X axis indicates the mole fraction of ethanol in liquid phase. Y axis indicates the mole fraction of ethanol in vapor phase. The upper curve is called equilibrium curve. Hover the mouse to the upper line at ethanol mole fraction of 0.6. We can see the vapor phase mole fraction of ethanol to be 0.7539. Let us generate the PXY plot now. Close this window. Go to Utilities and click on Add Utility. In the Add Utility window, under Object Type, select Material Streams. Under Utility Type, select Binary Phase Envelope. Under Flow Sheet Object, select Feed. At the bottom, click on the Add Utility button. Once again, Binary Phase Envelope window opens. Let us adjust the window for better visibility. Enter name as pxy-plot. Go to Diagram Settings. Let the compound setting be the default settings. Select envelope type as pxy. Select x-axis basis as mole fraction if not already selected. By default, mole fraction is selected as x-axis basis. Enter temperature as 75 degrees centigrade. Here, we are going to plot a PXY diagram. So, let us not worry about the temperature value. Make sure that the property package is selected as Suave Redlish Kuang. Now, click on the calculate button at the bottom. The diagram generated is a PXY diagram or constant temperature phase diagram. X axis indicates the mole fraction of ethanol. Y axis indicates the pressure range for which the VLE is generated. The lower line of the envelope represents dew points. Hover the mouse to the lower line at ethanol mole fraction of 0.4. We can see the dew point pressure to be 0.523 bar. For any mixture composition below this line, is completely vapor. The upper line of the envelope represents bubble points. Over the mouse to the upper line at ethanol mole fraction of 0.8. We can see the bubble point pressure to be 0.782 bar. For any mixture composition above this line is completely liquid. The area enclosed between these two lines is the VLE region. Here both vapor and liquid phases exist in equilibrium. Now, go to Results section. Click on Table. Here, we can see the corresponding mole fractions and pressure values. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to generate TXY plot at given pressure, XY plot for the obtained TXY data, TXY plot at given temperature, as an assignment, generate P XY plot for the PXY data obtained. Generate P XY plot using NRTL model. Compare the results. Was the video available at the following link? It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial Project. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conduct workshops and give certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. The FOSI team coordinates conversion of existing flow sheets into DWSIM. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. The FOSI team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. The FOSI team helps migrate commercial simulator labs to DWSIM. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. Spoken Tutorial and FOSI projects are funded by NMACT, MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Koshik Datta 
and Priyam Nayak. Thanks for joining.